Games are incredibly hard to make, and they take a very long time to develop. Both of these things are truer now than they ever have been, and clearly things are going to continue down this path. Even so, as fans, sometimes it's hard not to be antsy about games that we've waited interminably long times to play with no end in sight. Here, we're talking about 15 games, from those that have been announced to those that have been rumored to others still that are little more than the stuff of dreams at this point, that we've been waiting to get our hands on for what has felt like an eternity. Metroid Prime 4 Nearly two decades on from the launch of the last Metroid Prime game, the wait for a sequel continues. Metroid Prime 4 was originally announced seven years ago, all the way back in 2017. And after a couple years of radio silence in 2019, Nintendo revealed that development on the title had been rebooted. And since then? Nothing. Zilch. Nada. Metroid Prime 4 continues to be in development at Retro Studios, but five years into its rebooted development cycle, we still don't know anything about the game other than the fact that it's being worked on. Pragmata We don't see new IP very often, so it's always exciting to see one get announced. Four years ago, we got one in the form of Pragmata, a cool-looking sci-fi title that turned more than a few heads. Four years on, though, things haven't really moved forward much, or at all. We still don't have any idea what the heck the game even is, and we've barely seen anything of it since it got announced. And a while back, it got delayed indefinitely. Whether or not this is going to be another deep down is the question that we can't help but keep coming back to. Beyond Good and Evil 2 Oh boy, where do we even begin with this one? The wait for Beyond Good and Evil 2 had dragged on long enough even before it was announced. And when, impossibly enough, it was announced, things somehow only got worse. We're approaching the 7th anniversary of Beyond Good and Evil 2's announcement, and by now the game has become the definition of vaporware. After countless delays, development troubles, project reboots, and a total lack of communication on what the state of the project is, it's looking unlikelier by the day that this game will ever see the light of day. Dino Crisis there have been some incredible remakes over the last few years, but there is one remake that players have been asking for over and over again. Demands for a new Dino Crisis game have been growing louder by the day, as fans continue to salivate over the prospect of a full-fledged survival horror Dino Crisis reboot that's built on the RE engine and takes its fair share of learnings from modern survival games. Up to this point, chances of that happening anytime soon have looked slim, but there are some signs of willingness from the developers to get back to this IP, so maybe it isn't all over yet for Dino Crisis. Onimusha Here's another classic franchise that has been dormant for too long. To be fair, the developer did try to show Onimusha at least a little bit of love with a remastered release of the original game in 2019. But since then, the franchise has once again fallen off the face of the earth entirely. Its fusion of character action combat and Resident Evil style design has endeared the series to a sizable fanbase over the years, so hopefully it won't be too long before we get a long overdue new mainline Onimusha entry. Resident Evil Code Veronica Remake Let's switch to survival horror for now, because, of course, Resident Evil Code Veronica is another game players have been begging to see back in the limelight for a while now. While there's obviously been no shortage of horror games, and there are plenty of good ones out there, the demand for Code Veronica to return grows louder and louder. Thus far, the developer hasn't responded to this most wanted game, but hopefully that won't be the case for too long. One can hope, right? System Shock 3 whether or not System Shock 3 will even ever get made is massively in doubt at this point. First officially announced all the way back in 2016, the long-anticipated sequel was in works at Other Side Entertainment, with the project being led by System Shock mastermind Warren Spector. As the years continued to go and details on the game remained scant, concerns surrounding its development grew, before confirmation arrived from Spectre a couple of years ago that Other Side Entertainment hadn't worked on System Shock 3 since 2019. At this point, even saying that the project is in limbo would be a charitable description. The Elder Scrolls 6 It's been 13 years since the last mainline Elder Scrolls game released, and it's going to be several more before the next one arrives. What's insane is that we have known in an official capacity that the Elder Scrolls 6 is a thing for as long as six years at this point. Back in 2018, Bethesda announced the fantasy RPG with essentially a logo reveal, but it was only a few months ago that the game entered full production, with the studio having been occupied with Starfield for the last several years. At this point, development is presumably going to take around four to five years at best, 
which means we still have a very long wait ahead of us. Hollow Knight Silk Song. Team Cherry, please tell us when Hollow Knight Silk Song is coming. The expansion turned sequel was officially announced five years ago, and at one point when the game had a launch window for some time before July 2023, it looked like we were this close to the game actually coming out. That of course didn't pan out, and once again, we currently have no idea when Hollow Knight Silk Song will come out. Surely it's gotta be this year, right? Right? Mega Man Legends 3 the Mega Man franchise has been all over the place, in that even though we do keep getting new collections and re-releases, actual new installments have been few and far between for a while now. But as starved as Mega Man fans might be for a new mainline entry, Mega Man Legend fans have been starved for even longer. It's been close to two and a half decades since the launch of the last Legends game, and at this point, Mega Man Legends 3 is nothing short of the unlikeliest of pie-in-the-sky scenarios. But hey, we can always dream, right? Gear 6 That there will be a Gear 6 is pretty much a guarantee, but it's taking an unusually long time to rear its head. Gears 5 launched nearly 5 years ago, which means this is now the longest we've ever gone without a new mainline Gears of War game. Leaks have claimed that this is going to be the Coalition's next title, but how long it'll be before it releases or we see it is anyone's guess right now. But not if we find her first. Bloodborne Remaster Sony absolutely loves its remakes and remasters, but for some strange reason that doesn't seem to apply to Bloodborne. From Software's seminal action RPG is an absolute fan favorite and widely regarded as one of the best PlayStation games to date, but demands for a remake or a remaster, even though they've grown consistently louder, have gone unheard. Hell, we haven't even seen a 60 FPS patch for the game on PS5. Jack and Daxter in Sony's treasure trove of dormant legacy IP, Jack and Daxter is probably the one that fans are most wistful about to this day. Naughty Dog is, of course, unlikely to ever work on a new Jack game again. Hell, they're probably not even going to go back to Uncharted, let alone Jack. But we might perhaps see another studio be given the responsibility of making a new installment in the action platforming franchise. It seems incredibly unlikely right now, but there's no denying how popular Jack and Daxter is. So maybe that will end up counting for something in the future. Banjo-Kazooie Speaking of dormant franchises that have been slumbering for far too long, Banjo-Kazooie is another one that just refuses to come back. You have to go back to 2008 for the series' last mainline game, and that last mainline game was Nuts and Bolts, which was <laughs> not, not great. Xbox boss Phil Spencer has suggested a few times that Microsoft is well aware of the level of demand for Banjo-Kazooie. But with Rare having its hands full, and even Toys for Bob having bought back its independence, it's hard to see which studio is going to take on such a project, if it ever even gets greenlit. Splinter Cell Remake To be fair, it hasn't been that long since the developer announced that it was remaking Splinter Cell, seeing as the project was confirmed to be in the works in 2021. But of course, not only have we seen nothing of the game since then, there's also the fact that Splinter Cell as a whole has been MIA for far too long. And in the time since then, fans of the series have had little more than cancelled VR games and Ghost Recon DLC to go on. Hopefully it won't be too much longer before the remake sees the light of day. Hey, did you know that we at Gaming Bolt upload new videos every day? Stick around, drop a like, subscribe, and hit that bell, and let us know what kind of content you'd like to see in the future with a comment below.